everybody we are at the abingdon virginia walmart let's head in here and see what kind of goodies we can find okie dokie haven't done a voiceover in a while but this music was so loud in this store i couldn't hear myself think so here we go got some wrestling figures so boba fett there jbl nothing really to write home about Hopefully this audio comes through all right, guys. This is a very old headset that I'm using. Not the way I want to start the video off after my thousandth subscriber, but hey, here we go. Eh, kind of doing a broad stroke there, not a lot. Look at all those shipwrecks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 shipwreck figures. That's a lot of shipwreck. There I was hoping to find a Crimson Guard or a Snake Eyes. Nope. All I found was Baroness, Lady J, and Gung Ho. What else we got there? Uh, got some Motu stuff down. Some Stridor. Oh, I'm moving too fast. I don't know who is doing this recording. They need some help. Star Wars. That is pretty cool. I like those Boba Fett figures. There's a Samus hiding back there. Lando. I had to wait there for someone to walk behind me. I remember that. <laughs> it's much more fun doing the commentary when I'm in the store. It's kind of hard to remember what I was thinking. I don't know why I stuck my finger up there. Oh, I forgot to look at the WWE Ultimates. They had some like, two or three Rey Mysterios. Yeah, we're going back over now. Just panning the aisle. Stuff we've been seeing. Done with Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know why I'm lagging there. There we go. I started to look through those Spin Master figures to see if they have the Thomas Wayne Flashpoint Batman. I didn't. Now we're getting to some DC. No new superpowers. Those have got to show up eventually in Walmart, right? I mean, come on. Nightwing, Donald Troy. The Beast Boy wave I do kind of like. I like to build a figure. I'm not too crazy about the actual figures, but I am crazy about the, well, not really crazy about it, but I like to build a figure. Scanning up top, there's Armored Batman, I don't know if I saw that or not. Superpowers, there you got Duke Thomas. Captain Adams, like a future state Batman, and some idiot would have held the camera down there, he could have seen what it was. Nothing special up there either. This Walmart used to be really, really, you know, slow as far as having stuff, but the last few times I've been there, it's been all right. I did find those old Spider-Man Legends here, so this store is always going to be a hitter, in my opinion, because of that. X-Men 97, we got Wolverine and Cyclops there. I didn't look at the other ones, so I don't know if it was Rogue or not. There we got some Marvel Legends. A lot of the Walmarts in my area has got restocks on that Quantumania wave this week. There's Wonder Man. I wouldn't mind to have Wonder Man if I could find him on clearance. I'm hoping that that Puff Adder wave hits Ollie's. Uh, right there, that's the one I want the most. I haven't picked up yet. Strucker. Looking around up top, Fortnite figures, out the yin yang. Uh, I must see something that caught my eye. Oh, I'm trying to see what legends are up there. I saw Crossfire. I'm trying to move to see who's behind him. I think it was Photon was the one who's behind him. I moved that Hulk down there as it was in my way. Yep, I see it now, Photon. I couldn't reach any more of them. It was either reach up and try to see ones you've already seen, knock everything off the shelf, or just move on. I chose to move on. Come on, Rat King. That's the one I'm looking for. Spoiler alert, I don't find him. I found the Black Suit Spider-Man, those little Hasbro Epic Hero series at GameStop. I didn't film, though. That was the only thing I saw in there that was kind of neat. GameStop in Bristol, Virginia. I should have elaborated upon that. We're about to go to Diecast here in a second, and I just got tired of trying to have to think about doing voiceovers. So we get to Diecast here in a little bit, you'll actually be able to hear me again and the blaring music in the store. We're just doing one more little look at the video game stuff. I'm waiting for myself to give myself the thumbs up so that I know I'm done. Those were all the same builder figures we've seen there last time, all the Titans wave. I think they were all Nightwing and one Raven. 
We're almost back down to the immense stock of gung-ho figures. That thing right there, these little Fortnite figures are cool looking. I like that thing right there. It looks neat. That dude on the shelf behind him there, like the party hat on, is kind of cool too. I don't know if I picked him up or not. They only had two different figures. They had the one of the, well, I forgot about the one in the back there, so I'm sorry. Three different figures. Oh, we're getting ready to check out. Let's go to Diecast. All right, another voiceover because the music is too late. You can't even hear me talking. I found a treasure hunt. I've been sitting there going through these Hot Wheels forever. I, if you could hear the excitement in my voice right now while I'm talking about this, I collected Hot Wheels pretty hardcore um, probably two or three years ago, way before I started YouTube. But Kelly and I, we would go through bins and bins and bins and racks of Hot Wheels because I wanted to find a treasure hunt. I had never found one until the day you're seeing here when I was digging through all these. Then I went crazy and started digging through some more of them. Um, I actually went back and dug through those things for quite a while, trying to find some more treasure hunts. Uh, didn't find one at this store, but stay tuned to the video, because once it gets past these annoying voiceovers, I get back to some real recording with live commentary, and we may or may not have found another treasure hunt. <laughs> But yeah, I kept looking through those to see what I was going to find. Um, I had all kinds of people. They had just filled that dump box and the racks with the cars there. So I had several people kind of swarming behind me waiting to pounce on these Hot Wheels. But uh, again, I got kind of caught up and kept looking at them. And I kept looking at them. And I kept looking at them. See, I looked up on my phone when I saw them stacking, stocking all these, what the current um, treasure hunts were. So I'm trying to see if I can find any of the others. That thing right there was cool. That Dodge Challenger uh, SRT Demon, that was pretty sweet. I gotta say, Greg Cook, I watched his channel the other day, and he found that little Volkswagen uh, treasure. That's how I knew it was a treasure hunt. Because he had found that, and I just saw it in the bin. I was like, oh, that's the one he found that was a treasure hunt. Diecast is something I've gotten out of the last few years. I mean, I still buy some. You see here on the channel every now and then, I buy some, but... It's few and far between now, but man, I used to really, really be into Hot Wheels and die-cast cars. It's kind of funny, you know, during COVID and everything, the action figure toy aisle was kind of bare, but they had tons of Hot Wheels. So I got back into Hot Wheels at that time, and by the time I got into Hot Wheels, boom, that's when they disappeared. <laughs> Here, we're just going to check out the rest of the aisle real quick. I realize I'm lingering too long going through the Hot Wheel box. I didn't see anything else totally down through here. Some cool stuff. Another group we wanted to pick up out of all that. And then this is the Walmart that had the K5 Blazer that I was hoping to pick up in this little M2 set down there. But and get down here in a minute, you'll see that they didn't have it. Just checking out the bottom rack there and see what they got. And we're coming up on the end, so I want to be quiet. How about a little trip in Burlington here to see if they put anything new on their shelves? Let's go in and let's find it. Alrighty, Burlington. I said alright again. Still got those Godzilla vs. Kong things. A uh, big Godzilla plushie. 1990, or Jurassic World, I'm sorry. I'm saying it doesn't look here like there. Oh, look here. Oh, they got two of them here. I never saw these in the store. I actually got this off Walmart.com for the full price, which I think was $35. 18 bucks here has a good looking shredder figure. I don't know if it's that same one that came on the single little pack here a while back, but I've got this two pack, but if I'd have known, I could have waited and got it for half price. <laughs> gotta move my Target bag I've got in my hand here. Cause we made a purchase. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. There's some Power Rangers, Star Wars thing. I think that's a Black Widow Ladybug, I don't know. Doesn't make sense, she should have been a spider. <laughs> Alright, over here is where they usually have the action figures. Uh, Halo, Mega Bloks, uh, all of these. Silver Streak. Yeah, so much are these things here? Seven bucks? Eight. I don't know the hell all those last time or not I was in here. They didn't have those Ninja Turtles, I know that. But as far as G.I. Joes, which is what I was hoping to find. I'm not seeing any Joes. 
I got some Mario stuff there. Sonic, a little Titan Hero series. Four pack. Uh, nothing over here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, guys. We're not going to spend too much time. Got some Fortnite stuff here on the end. Some more Titan Heroes. Got Metal Mouth. Funk Ops. Ragsy. Another Funk Ops. And Ragsy. So, yep. Black Suit Spider-Man. $5.99. I think that's going to do it for Burlington. Let's head down to Books a Million and see what they got. Well, when in Books a Million, it was a bust. Let's head into Ross here and see if they got anything else. Ross, what you got for me? Um, let's see, here's some Hot Wheels stuff, Super Pets, some 4 99 Pops, Hawkeye, anything stuck in behind there, it look like it, Spider-Man, Titan figures, oh, look here, I've been seeing people find these, that's the video game version of it, that's pretty cool, be cool if they had all four of them. How much are these things? Ten bucks. Hmm. That's a possibility. Be cool if they had the other three. Uh, I don't see anything else on the bottom shelf. Bobby Lashley. Fortnite stuff. What do they got? Fortnite. The old school's a little set of him. The squad mode. Man cake. Agent Jones, hmm, what kind of weapons are coming with the tail? A lot of times those are good to get to have weapons to go with the figures now don't come with any. Still got that Batman Lego set. Just making sure nobody has stuck any of those turtles anywhere else. I don't see anything. Uh, we got some kids on the back side of the aisle there, so I'm going to go back there and film. If I do find anything else, I'll show it to you. Take a look over there. It all looks pink to me. I don't see any best action boxes or anything. So yeah, pretty cool. GameStop exclusives. I guess that's why I never saw those things. But yep, got one of the turtles here. So we're gonna take a picture of it. And now we're gonna go on to the next. Okay, everybody. We're doing this intro a little bit different because I'm coming out of the store. Went into Walmart here that I hunted the other day for lunch and already filmed and put a YouTube video on YouTube. Went back in there today. We found some good stuff, so take a look at what I found. Okay, everyone, I didn't film an intro. I may film one on the way out, but this is the Bristol Walmart where I just filmed the other day. Came in here not expecting to find anything because it's been a while in the store since we found a whole lot of good stuff, but just to quit rambling. Oh, yeah, Vampire Green Lantern. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have got the vampire. Let's just make sure they don't have black lightning down here anywhere. Oh, I got three of them. Definitely picking up one of those. Look at this thing. This looks awesome. I have to say, that is one of the better looking of the vampire figures. That line keeps getting better, in my humble opinion. I will sneak this into my latest hunt video. I may not film the rest of the toys. I've already been through diecast and there's nothing different that you saw in my wednesday video but oh man the green lantern yes i can't believe they got it um little captain adam back there so they don't have black lightning that's okay we'll find black lightning we got the vampire green lantern and this we'll take a quick little look at the rest of the aisle here so we got ultra on there it may scan him doesn't look like they've restocked anything else. Just those gold labels. Oh, I can't believe they got Vampire Green Lantern. Ha. Huh. I'm going to have to quit trash talking this Walmart when it does stuff like this for me. There's some G.I. Joe we got up here. Shipwreck. Bunch of shipwreck and rock and roll still. No new retro cars. Still Gung Ho and Lady J. But, yep. That's going to wrap this little quick Walmart hit up, guys. We're going to check collectibles. Do see anything there. I'll show it. But as you can see, three of them sexy, sexy Green Lanterns. Walmart in Bristol on the Tennessee side this time. 
I had some major scores at the Bristol Walmart in Virginia today. So let's go in here and see if Tennessee can be just as fruitful. Let's start down here on the lower end because they're actually doing a lot of work on this aisle right now. So I will film the best I can for you guys. I may have to be quiet and skip a couple of sections there, but there's an actually an employee up there working a lot of that restocking, resetting, whatever they're doing, so I'm not want to get in her way. Trying to film a Destro. I think these were up there last time. Lady J. Got some Mario. Got some Among Us. Had some good hunts today, this week, guys. Hopefully, this store continues. There's a $25 Bowser. Oh, they got the Batman Hollies. Let's see, and this is the Walmart, too. I found some Lego minifigures in a while back, so... We will see if they have any of those. Bowser, i got to get Bowser one of these days. What do they got here on this card? There's a Bret Hart. Ultimate, some old legends. Don't see anything new on there. Maybe they're heading that stuff to clearance. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? Lady J's. Lady J's for days. <laughs> And there's a too slow gung ho. I'm stealing another YouTuber's catchphrases. Shipwreck, rock and roll. There's old Scrappy. I hate I missed him on target clearance. When I say I missed him, I haven't found him yet on clearance. The one that was in Bristol disappeared like the second it hit clearance. But honestly, I don't know if I'd open that. And the one in Bristol had a big hole in the front of it. Slip on down. Wrestlers, what do we got? Trent, Chuck Taylor, <laughs> oh, caught Adam Page. That hanger is messed up on him. Let's put him there. Supremes, Kenny Omegas. I don't think we have a. Nah. Don't have the new AEWs yet. I'm sorry, guys, I'm so close to the aisle, but I'm not up against this thing back here. Let's just step to the side. Now, a viewer pointed out in my last video that I overlooked a valuable chase of this stuff in the Bristol Walmart. And I don't collect this. I didn't see it. Don't know if I'd have bought it, but it would have been cool to see. There's the old superpowers. Oh, I can see Nightfall Batman and Batwing up there. This Walmart's had those every time I've been here. Who we got? Let's check these first. I can't pronounce that little guy's name. Nin Num or something. A beaten up Boba Fett. And Lando's. More Lando's. Cossie and Ando. Those are ones we've all, or I've seen before. Boba Fett's. Well, RC. I like that thing. I don't have a Batgirl, do we? No. What we got here? We got Nightfall. Oh, they got a. Two Faces Batman as well. Only retail store I have seen that in. And then we got another Nightfall. A Batwing, a Duke Thomas, a Batwing, a Batwing, a Nightfall, and a Batwing. Oh. Oh, look. Batmobile, Invisible Jet. That's a good sign. These are all Titans waves except for the Blackest Night there. Uh, we got some dinos down there, a bunch of uh, superpower stuff on this. I wonder if this is heading to Clarence. But we're going to flip down the rest of the aisle here. I will film for you what I can. It's cool to see the nightfall again. Like, this has been a lot more available than what I thought it would be. I'm going to take a picture. Your face is Batman. Nightfall. All right, let's hang him back up there. Plenty of those here for collectors who are looking for them. And let's slip by this little area. <laughs> Turtles, Transformers. Ah. Still got Puff Adderwave in Legends and nothing new in Retro Turtles. So let's go check out some diecast. Hot Wheels. We're just gonna kinda look over these. I'm telling you, I, not, I 
collected Hot Wheels big time before I started YouTube. The reason being was during COVID, you know, action figures were gone in my areas. You know, you couldn't find anything, and Hot Wheels was the only thing that was getting stock. So I got into Hot Wheels hot and heavy. You have no idea how much Kelly and I used to tear the shelves up searching, trying to find a treasure hunt Hot Wheel. I never found any treasure hunts. And in the last two days, I have found two treasure hunts that you will see in the wrap-up portion that you've already seen me finding. We found one at Abingdon, Virginia Walmart, and we found one at Bristol, Virginia Walmart. I tell you, in Bristol Walmart, I didn't film that big Lego crate that I showed on Monday's video um, up front, or Wednesday's video, I'm sorry. But they had were dumping more boxes of Hot Wheels into that crate today, and there was a swarm of people around there. And I just happened to see that little Land Cruiser sitting there and grabbed it. But man, I bet they still had eight boxes of Hot Wheels they couldn't fit in that thing. So that's going to be a hotbed after the next couple of weeks of finding some good stuff. So we'll probably, in other words, hit that one back at some point. Ford, Hurst, Dotson. It's kind of might have that k5 blazer but i don't think they have it but yeah i was extremely excited and very happy to have those treasure hot wheels those will be treasured not trying to make a pun but treasure parts of my collection for years to come but i think that is going to do it for the main toy aisle there's one up there okay that's not the blazer um like I said, we saw some nightfall. I was trying to think thought what I was talking about, but that is going to do it for the toy. I actually just walked down here and see if they got any Lego minifigures. We'll check that out real quick. All they got here is some Pokemon stuff. Mutant Mayhem. Hey, a little side by side. If I can get my big butt in it. Got some Lego here. Oh man, they got clearance Lego. The GT is down to $99. That is tempting. There's a Batman. Finding the frozen page puncher. We're doing a big reset in this aisle right now. Let's see. They had the... Nope, they're gone. They got some LOL Route 7. Maybe they were there where those X-Shot things are. I don't know. But they don't have the Lego minifigures. But again, it doesn't matter. We got the set. Just want to see if they had them. But that is going to do it for the toy section. If I do see anything else, I'll sign back in and show it to you. If not, I'll see you in collectors. We are here in Collectors, and they don't have any Secret of the Ooze Turtle 2-packs. But one thing I wanted to show real quick, they do have Leonardo and Donatello Part 1 Turtle 2-packs for NECA. So you got Shredder and Splinter in very good condition. And then you got two of these. You don't have Raph and Mikey, but you do have Leo and Donnie. So apparently this Walmart is a hotbed for NECA Ninja Turtles. But that's about all I see we're talking about here in Collectors, and that is going to wrap up this Walmart. If I find anything else, I will show it to you. If not, then I will see you at the next. Hello there, YouTube. My name is Chris. You're watching The Man Collects, and you just saw another toy hunt video here from The Man Collects. And um, probably a shorter video than I've done in a little while, but this is the quality over quantity, because I found a lot of good stuff on this hunt. And to be honest, work has <laughs> been a little crazy this week. I haven't had the time I usually do to get some different places to hunt. So I tried to get as much diversity as I could in this video, which is three Walmarts, a Burlington, and a Ross. But before we get into the hunt, we're going to talk about a couple of things. Number one, we have done it. You guys have done it for me. A thousand subscribers. As of the time I hit record on this video tonight, I'm at 1,010 subscribers. A huge, huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed and everyone who has supported the channel, whether you're a subscriber or not. I deeply appreciate it. I never dreamed when I started this thing back in January that I would hit a thousand subscribers, let alone hit it in you know eight months since I put my first video out. So thank you everyone. I really appreciate that. We're gonna do a giveaway. So here's what we're gonna do for the giveaway. I wanna talk about that first, so make sure you get these details before I get into the haul here. But I'm gonna put a video on YouTube this Sunday, uh, September the 30th. It'll drop at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. That's going to be about the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We're going to do some shout-outs to some people who's helped me along the way and supported the channel. And then we're going to go over how we're going to enter and how we're going to win the giveaway. But check out that video this Sunday, September the 30th, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. I'll keep it as short as I can, but it'll go over the details of what the, what's going to be in the giveaway, how to enter it, how to win, how we're going to announce the winner, and all that good stuff. But again, thank you all for supporting the channel. And now let's get back to the toy hunt. Well, actually, no, we're going to talk about something else before the toy hunt. Um, 
fan of the channel, Vlad the Impaler. Man, he sent me another grab bag full of stuff here. And Vlad, I appreciate this, man. You sent me way too much stuff, but we'll go over some of the stuff he sent me first. A couple of packs of the Lego Marvel minifigures. I'll have to tear these open and see uh, see which ones we got in there. Uh, we got a Batman magnet, which I'm going to try to stick something metal. I think it would look cool stuck to one of these shelves here in the background for the bat symbol. So that's going to go back there as soon as I find something metal to glue to the shelf to stick it to. Also, a Batman ink pen, which projects the bat symbol out of the top of the caps. So that is pretty cool. If I ever just write anything on the channel here, I'll probably be playing with that and, you know, shining it towards the camera. Uh, G.I. Joe, Hollywood Nano Rise. I've come close to buying this on how many times? I've got several sets of these. Don't have the G.I. Joe. Look at that little hiss tank. That is the coolest one in that set, that little small hiss tank. So very glad to have this. We may go ahead and just stand that up here on the shelf. Um, also, I did not expect, I never seen these before. I don't even know how old these things are. 2022. I used to have almost, almost a set of these cars when I was a kid, but I sold these things when I was a teenager. With some green light garbage pill kids, green light die cast cars. These things are awesome, man. I didn't expect this. I that's, that's pretty cool. Like I said, I wish I would have kept these cards, man. Some of those go for pretty pretty good money now. I sold them for a pretty good penny when I was probably 18, so I can't imagine what they'd be now. Uh, another couple of things he sent me. He saw in the video where I picked up some of these three-pack Super 7s from Ollie's, and he had the ones I didn't have. So he sent me pack A, the Hellboy three-pack, and he sent me, I think it's also, it's set one, of the ghosts and goblins. So you see, I've got my other sets back here behind me on the shelf. Now I've got their companions to go with them back here. These are very cool. Like I said, getting them at Ollie's, you can't beat the price we're selling for. I really appreciate this stuff, dude. I appreciate you sending it in. Appreciate you supporting the channel. All right, we do have an online pickup this. Oh, well, no, we haven't talked about the hunt yet. We've been talking about other stuff. I was getting ahead of myself. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet as I can, guys. I've already rambled on for four minutes here. Um, three Walmart stores, a Burlington and a Ross this week, or at the end of this week for our wrap-up video. Um, Walmart in Abingdon um, didn't see a whole, whole lot in the action figure aisle. They had 14 shipwreck figures. So that was the biggest of restock they had there. Um, Hot Wheel restocks, they're hitting every Walmart I've been in this week. If you're a Hot Wheels collector, be sure to check your Walmart. So, Dabbing in Walmart, I apologize for the voiceover at the beginning of the video. The music in there was extremely loud. I went, I did do commentary as I recorded. I was putting the video together tonight, and you can't hardly hear what I'm saying. I sound like a mumble in the background, you know, trying to talk over Creed and I think Belinda Carlisle and everything else that was playing in there. So we had to go do an old school and do a, a voiceover on that. My headset's ancient. I'm sorry for the poor audio quality. But the hitter stuff in that Walmart was the Hot Wheels. Um, guys, I collected Hot Wheels pretty, I would say hardcore. I went pretty full in on them for about two years, about from 2021, I don't know, probably 2020 to 2022. I don't know, to about a two to three year period there. But uh, I always look for treasure hunts. Uh, when Kelly and I started that, she would help me look for treasure hunt cars. Never found treasure hunt Hot Wheels. And I searched for these things forever and could not find them. But we get into that Walmart, what do we find? We find a treasure hunt. I got it here as I did pick up the treasure hunt, the Tune Volkswagen Golf MK1. I watched a Greg Cook video the other day where he was finding some of these. His Walmart also had stocked the Hot Wheels. He showed this car owner he picked up that was a treasure hunt. So a big shout out and thanks to Greg Cook. If he hadn't showed this on his channel, I wouldn't have spotted that so easily in that bin. We did find it there, we picked it up, we got it. Like I said, very glad to have a, a treasure hunt Hot Wheel finally. And we also went hot wheel diving again to Bristol, Virginia, Walmart. We may have incidentally got two treasure hunts in this video. Just stay tuned to find out. Uh, next place you saw me at was Burlington there in Bristol. Just looking for some G.I. Joe classifieds. I've been seeing them pop up online on some other YouTuber stuff here. Then finding some good deals on classifieds. Didn't find them. Did see that Donnie and Shredder 2-pack, though. I think that Playmate set. And um, I've got all those. I've got them at retail, so I kind of... I guess I should have waited a couple of years, but I never saw Donnie and Shredder in stores. It was cool to see them there. I got that off walmart.com years ago, but um, no G.I. Joe's, but they did have the Donnie and Shredder two-pack. Next place I went to was Ross, and Ross, um, I was looking for multiverse in there. I've seen some people uh, on YouTube. Sorry, my wife's sending me text messages picking on me here, so it's kind of distracting me a little bit, but uh, we did see some people finding some cheap DC multiverse. Um, T3 collects. He found the Bat Cycle from the Batman for like five ninety nine. The Bat, the Drifter motorcycle. That thing was thirty bucks, I think, retail. So we were looking for that, and it was anything else multiverse related. 
Didn't find any of that. Well, we did find the best action GameStop exclusive of the Turtles there based on the arcade game. Well, we found Leonardo. We didn't find any others, but it was cool to see those there. But uh, we'll check back in there and try to find that DC, that DC savings if we can find it. Uh, Walmart in Bristol. Uh, did not expect to go in there and film. Went in there to get something to eat for lunch. And, of course, you have to walk through the toy aisle. And we found Gold Label Vampire Green Lantern. Of course, you know... I picked that up. It's sitting here to show you during the haul portion. I uh, was hoping they might have had Black Lightning. They did not, but hey, I'm not going to complain. They had my Green Lantern, and then again, I got my food. I was going back up front, and they were pouring boxes of Hot Wheels into that big bin up front. They had hung new ones on the front of the bin. Now, they still had, I would guess, 8 to 10 sealed boxes of Hot Wheels. They could not fit in that bin. So we're going to be hitting that store again, checking back for some more Hot Wheel restocks. Uh, the last place you saw me at, Bristol, Tennessee, Walmart, and DC Multiverse, uh, Nightfall Batman, Batwing, and Two-Face's Batman. They've had, well, I think Two-Face they had the first time, not the second time I went, but they've had those figures pretty regular every time I've been in that Walmart. Uh, Nightfall Batman has been a lot more readily available, at least in my area, than I thought that figure would be when it came out. Uh, I've seen it several times out on the toy hunts. Actually, the Walmart, or the Target, I mean, in Bristol had a, a Nightfall Batman this week, but I didn't film going back in there again. That's the only thing they had that was different. But again, saw a good stock of multiverse there. What else did we see? I'm looking at my notes, my cheat sheet over here. Oh, one thing in there that was one of the coolest things that I found, uh, they had changed the labels on the shelf from the Superpower, Supermobile, and Batwing to the Batmobile and the Invisible Jet. And does that mean they're going to get it anytime soon? No. But hey, they've changed the stickers over, so we're going to be checking out Walmart more frequently next week, hoping they get that wave of superpowers out on the shelf because we need to find Black Manta. I've got all that wave that I want, vehicles included, except for Black Manta. So we got to find him. Last thing in there, they didn't have any Secret of the Ooze Turtle 2 packs, but they did have a Ninja Turtles Part 1 2 pack, Leo and Donnie. So the last three times I've hunted that Walmart, I found Ninja Turtle 2 pack NECAs. Those are cool to see. Don't know if you're a fan of Turtles or not. If you are, those figures look great. I think as far as being accurate from the movie to the figure, that's some of the best ones I've seen of any toy company as far as nailing the likeness on those figures. It looks like they walked off the screen and right into those boxes, in my opinion. They look great. So it's cool to see those there. I've already got those part one two packs, so I didn't pick them up. They had two of the Donnie and uh, Leo two packs there from Ninja Turtles part one at that Walmart. And both are in really good condition as well. All right, that is it. So let's get into the toy haul. I already showed you the awesome stuff that I got gifted from, uh, from uh, Vlad the Impeller there. But the first thing we want to show is what I got from eBay. Uh, strolling the other night, not really looking to bid on anything, and I saw an action figure assortment that had one figure that I wanted. It was a five-figure set. So what I bid, I think I bid like $18, and I won uh, that little auction. So we'll go over what we got in that auction. The first one we got here, and these first two, actually all these, but the one I really wanted, aren't in the best condition. But we've got the Robin here, the DC Superheroes. Again, it's not in mint condition, but that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to have this thing a little bit beaten up. It's not terrible. I mean, the car can be in, it's not in mint condition, but it's good enough for me. We got Robin there. I've got this Robin figure somewhere off card, but I don't have, of course, don't have any of these things on card. Next one we got is the Flash. You know, I'm going to have to do a little work and clean up the Flash's card a little bit. It's got that KB sticker they tore off of there. But oh, it's Toys R Us. Oh, man, $4.99, Toys R Us. But again, I love these old Toy Biz figures. I mean, look at the Flash there. That might look awesome. Like I said, we got the Flash. Uh, next one we got is one I've still got from when I was a kid. The Marvel Superheroes Venom. This is the one where it's got the big spider thing in the back with all that goop in it. And you attach it to his back and push it and it shoots the goop out of the center of his chest like it's a symbiote coming out and doing stuff. You can kind of see it there on the back on the picture. Again, I hated this figure when I was a kid because I didn't think it looked anything like Venom. But now the nostalgia of this, this is awesome. Glad to have that. And that was actually in pretty good shape as far as the card being straight. You know, for a cheap figure assortment. Uh, the next one is one I also had as a kid. Used this for, I used, used to use this guy's Nick Fury, to be quite honest. And then when I got into wrestling, this was my version of Shawn Michaels. But we got the Kane, the Weapon X there figure from uh, the X-Force series. The first edition of him. They had two, at least two editions of him. I've got them both off card, but now we got this one on card. 
And the last figure we got in this little assortment was the one that I really, really wanted. It is dusty as all get out. I got to clean it, but I wanted a Batman 89 Toy Biz on card and we got it. I've still got this figure loose. I've actually still got the accessories that came with him, but I had cut the little bat or utility belt retractable thing off of mine and my bat symbol where I play with it so much has worn off. So it's cool to have this thing on card. It's actually in really good shape as far as the card. I mean, it's good and straight. The color is good on it. The bubble is nice and clear. No yellowing. Really glad to have this thing. Um, I got to admit, on the back of the card, he looks a lot cooler than he actually does. He's like, flat black on the back of the card there, and he's shiny black in the in the actual uh, paint application. But again, glad to have this thing. I like that picture of Batman on the front. Huge Batman 89 fan. Glad to have that on card. Now let's get to the retail pickups. Abingdon Walmart was Hot Wheel base. That's all we picked up. We got the Dodge Demon, the SRT, SRT Challenger. Again, I think that thing looks awesome. I'm probably going to take that off card and do something with it. And then, of course, I don't know if you can see the writing in there where it says that we got the Treasure Hunt, the Volkswagen tuned Golf MK1, my, tre my first ever Hot Wheel Treasure Hunt. This will be a treasured, no, again, no pun intended, addition to my collection for I will enjoy for years to come, my first treasure hunt. Uh, next, we got the Bristol Walmart. And of course, you know one thing I got in that Bristol Walmart. We got the Vampire, the Vampire Green Lantern. Look at the head sculpt on that guy. This this figure line, in my opinion, just, again, keeps getting better as far as the way the figures look on this. There's your art on the back. Glad to find this thing already. Now we just got to get Black Lightning to have the latest release, the Walmart exclusives. All right, as I was leaving the store again, they were stocking that bin of Hot Wheels. When I was in Abingdon the other day, after I found this one, I was trying to find pictures of more of the recent uh, treasure hunts. One of them I saw that I remembered, I was walking by that bin while everybody was swarming to get into it. I saw it hanging on the outside of the bin and we picked up, boom, our second treasure hunt find this week. Again, I don't know if you can see the writing in there. I can't tell from this far back from the camera. We got another Hot Wheel treasure hunt to go into collection. Looked for these things for years and could not find them. <laughs> I found two in two days this week. So very glad to get these things into the collection. To be quite honest, as far as looks, I don't care a whole lot for these tuned out Hot Wheels, but I wanted the treasure hunt. So I'm really glad to find that one. That one does look awesome. You know, the uh, Land Cruiser truck there. So glad to have that to put in the collection to go with our tuned out um, Volkswagen Golf. Uh, my last pickup I got came from Ross, and we did pick up the video game version, Best Action Leonardo. Hoping to find the other three turtles there and complete this little set if we can, but they had Leo, so we went ahead and we picked up Leo. All right, guys, as far as the toy haul, that is it. Once again, thank you to everyone who has supported this channel. I'm still very, very humble and very appreciative of everyone who has supported me to help me get to 1,000 subscribers. Now let's keep charging forward and try to get to two, three, four, five, you know, 600,000 subscribers, whatever we can get this channel to. And once again, check out this Sunday, September the 30th, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will put the video out on my channel here with information on the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, how to enter, how you can win, and all that good stuff. All right, uh, what are we gonna talk about now? Oh, I almost forgot. Instagram, my social media. Check me out on Instagram. If you go to the description uh, part of this video, if you go to the My About page on YouTube, you'll find the link to my Instagram account. I will have information here on the bottom of the screen that shows you what to type in to go to my Instagram page and follow me there. I do post things there that I find that you may not see in these videos, so check me out on Instagram. And also, most important social media, of course, is my YouTube channel. So if you are a first-time viewer to this content, you've came back multiple times, you have not yet clicked subscribe, consider subscribing to The Man Collects and seeing what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. Let's just see how many more treasure hunt Hot Wheels that I can find. But with all that, guys, hope everyone's had a great week. I am ready for the weekend. It's been a long week. So let's get there. Let's get to the weekend, and I'll see everybody back here on Sunday.